on uh, October 14th, uh, 28 days ago, this would be our 29th day if we were still here, uh, we announced that we would not leave the State House steps until the governor fully expanded the GA motel program uh, to include all the people that had been exited before, that were on the street now, or who might become houseless in the future. I'm Brenda Siegel. I ran for governor in 2018, and I'm a policy advocate, so I often work on policy frequently around substance use disorder, but also economic justice and houselessness as well. Great, great. I learned so much, and I guess I've always been really empathetic to this issue, but I did not know how, I did not know, I didn't, I couldn't actually feel how hard it is to be outside and be cold and be exhausted and try to do your work and try to keep up and to feel the diminish, the diminishing um, uh, ability to think and, and, and move forward. And after just 27 days, I had maybe three hours a day of real functioning in me, and even that was really challenging. Something that normally would take me 20 minutes took me five or six hours to get done. I am Josh Lisby, uh, J-O-S-H-L-I-S-E-N-B-Y, and I've been chronically homeless for six years, and so I joined the advocacy group a couple of months ago, and uh, this is where we ended up for now, I guess, but we're moving forward from here. I feel like it was a success, but I feel like it was uh, unneeded. I, I, I think I wish that the leaders of Vermont had really kind of taken it upon themselves to not let this happen, but... Uh, we did what had to be done, I guess is really what it is, and we got the outcome we wanted, and so I'm, I'm happy with that, but uh, I hope we don't have to ever do it again. I hope we can move forward in this sense and really try and solve this problem. Just, we need to invest. We need to invest wholeheartedly. Um, we kind of we keep putting band-aids and half measures, and really we're just we're, you'll hear it a lot, but we're we're kicking the can down the road. Um, you know, if we solve this now, we do we save money and resources in our state. Um, you know, we save healthcare costs. Um, our communities are safer. We didn't, we have less of a need for police and emergency services. Um, and, you know, we're just stronger, healthier, thriving communities um, when we do it. So we just, we need to commit um, wholeheartedly and do it now. Um, because the longer we wait, um, the more expensive um, it gets um, and the more harm and trauma um, we have to overcome.